guys, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be announcing the Winter Cramathon. If you don't know, Cramathon is a readathon that myself, as well as Ali from Hardback Quarter, Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5, and Dave from The Awkward Bookworm, and I all host. And this readathon was originally created by Winnie Novels, where you try to cram books at the end of the year, typically to meet that Goodreads goal or just to like get in all the reads you want to read for the end of the year. And there's so many books like that people want to finish before the end of 2018. So this is what kind of that readathon can do for you. Basically this year it is going to be running from December 22nd to December 28th. We thought this was a good idea because a lot of people will be on winter break and they'll have more time to read. Just like last year we have um, some challenges for you guys. You don't have to do them but you can. We also have Twitter sprints so I'll have the Twitter link down below. Myself or one of the other three hosts will be hosting Twitter sprints at random during the week. So feel free to join in with those. They're a lot of fun. The first challenge is to read the group book, which we have assigned to be The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I love this book personally. I've read it before and I'm so excited to reread it. So this is our group book. Of course, if you can't get the book, don't want to read the book, don't want to reread the book, whatever it is, I, we encourage you to do so because it is a really good book. Just saying, like I know Dylan loves it too. Um, but if you don't want to, there is... Um, the option of doing another challenge twice. Next is a book under 200 pages, which this is pretty straightforward, just a book under 200 pages that you could probably get through pretty quickly. Read a book you meant to read in 2018 but never did or never got around to, that kind of thing. There's so many books I have that I was planning to read this year that I haven't, so I would probably choose one of those for this challenge. Next is read the shortest book on your TBR, so the shortest, um, you know, the least amount of pages on your TBR. You can read that. It'll be lots of fun. And next is a book with a person of color representation. Last year we did LGBTQIAP plus representation. Now this year we're doing person of color. So that is great. And I think we have a doc full of books that meet that criteria. So I will link that down below. Next is read a book with silver on the cover. And last but not least is the challenge of read seven books. And of course you don't have to do any of these challenges. Don't feel pressured. If you read one book, that's fine. If you read half a book, that's fine. If you read 10 books, that's great. Um, just have fun with it. And I know myself as well as all the other hosts are super excited to host again this year. So yeah, I'm super excited about it. So I hope you guys join in. Let me know down below if you're participating and I will be checking out people's TBR videos around the time that they go up. So hopefully if you make a TBR, let me know or I'll probably just be searching it anyways to like see people's TBRs because I'm really excited about it. Um, I myself won't be making a TBR. I might do like a different kind of video prepping for Cramathon, but um, I won't be making a traditional TBR if you're wondering. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new here be sure to subscribe and click the link down below. Click the subscribe button down below. I'm not doing this right. I haven't filmed a normal video in a long time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you super soon. Bye. He lies a lifeless bride and groom till death to us part came far too soon. Buildings burn and people die all of the time. But I heard that you reap what you sow.